Hey, what's up everybody? This is Visit Joan, and today we're going to be building the Curious family house from The Sims 2. This is where Kelly Curious lives. If you've read That Fateful Night, link is in the description below. You have seen her, but we'll get to her in a minute. Anyway, you guys, this is pretty much the house from The Sims 2, except it's been updated slightly, and that is because, well, time has passed in Strange Town, considering the alien baby that Pascal is pregnant with in the beginning of the game is now a teenage girl. So this it's the same house, but it's furnished a little bit differently in some of the rooms. And I had to tweak it like a little bit because there there are all these like platforms, like observatory platforms on the top of this house. Like like honestly, this house is like they live in like a science lab. I mean, I mean you gotta kind of feel for Kelly. I mean, she seems almost normal, but you know, I mean they she grew up in this like science lab place and there are like all these platforms and you know, like it kinda there was a problem with the platforms because I was trying to make it to work, and I did see videos of people building this house before I actually went and built this house. So I kind of knew what to do, but I, I did have trouble kind of getting the stairs to go up and everything. And then there was this like one issue where, you know, there's a staircase in the middle of the house to the roof. When I put that on, it actually kind of thinks that the main room in the house is actually outside instead of inside. I don't know how to fix that. But, um, Anyway, so there were like five levels of platforms, or however many levels of platforms there were, I don't know, but the, whatever number it was, it was one more than the number of floors that you could build in The Sims 4. So I had to improvise and I had to take down a level. But other than that, it's, you know, pretty much the same. I did extend the hallways because the hallways in the original house were like really, really, really tiny. And I did actually cut back on the number of doors in this house because I just that just does not feel safe to me having like a door in the middle of your bedroom or somebody could just like walk in. no uh-uh but mostly in terms of like furnishing stuff I kind of kept the furnishing scheme the way it was because it just felt it just had this like nerdy atmosphere to it and I'm not saying that you know it's bad to be a nerd I'm not saying that it's bad if you're a nerd it's it's not bad to be a nerd at all I'm just using that term because the stereotypical, um, the stereotypical, oh, jeez, I'm blanking on the word here. Um, just, you know, the stereotype associated with that word is kind of what exactly describes these guys and what their kind of house looks like. So, yeah, I did kind of keep that little nerdy atmosphere going on. And, like, mostly in the brothers' rooms, I did keep it really plain because they kind of had, you know, plain dreams. But the girls' rooms, I did, you know, because... They would have their rooms be plain. They would have their rooms be, you know, their personalities. So I did spray up the girls' rooms a bit. So anyway, if you don't know, the Curious Brothers are, they're from The Sims 2. There's three of them. And they are basically the younger three of four siblings. They have an older sister and six half-siblings. And they have two older half-sisters who are twins. And... These brothers, they're just like nerds and like the basic, right? They eat, sleep, and breathe science. Like, it's not even funny. They work at, you know, the science center and they just, when they go home, they, all they think of is like science and they're curious as their name implies. And they also have this weird borderline unhealthy obsession with aliens. And you're probably wondering if their sister has the same obsession with them. Well, she married an alien, so I guess that answers that question. But anyway, before I go any further, I just want to say that I did not make this up. And that's kind of the beauty of the things that go around with, write with writing, you know, sim stories in particular, is that there's a lot of stuff where, you know, people can complain, like, this doesn't sound realistic, or what the heck, you have too many names that start with this letter or stuff like that, and I'm just like, I didn't make it up, guys, I did not make this up. So just, 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 you know... I'm just, I'm just telling you right now, I did not make this up. But anyway, aliens, they, I mean, they reproduce in their own society, but they have a way of, you know, pollinating on other planets. And that is because when they abduct men, they use, like, high technology to impregnate them and use, like, an artificial womb. I don't know why they don't do women. I mean, women already have, like, a built-in womb. I don't know if that, that's not good enough, but, you know, you know, it, it, that's just one of the things that, you know, Pascal, the oldest brother in Kelly's dad, is trying to figure out. And I guess he could have just asked his brother-in-law, but he probably did. And he's like, dude, I, I don't know. They don't tell me anything. Alien Society is like 1984, I swear. It's no wonder PT9 left. But anyway, 
Pascal really wanted to experience an alien pregnancy. So he set himself up to get abducted by aliens. And Kelly was the result of that. And I honestly think Pascal is a little bit in over his head, kind of. Because, okay, taking care of a baby, he knew he could do. But raising a child, especially a daughter, yeah, he was really just kind of in over his head. And <laughs> especially when it comes to, like, issues with puberty, you guys know what I mean. If you don't, well, you're too young to be playing this game. But I, I just feel like a lot of growing up, when Kelly would have asked questions related to girl issues, he would have just, go ask your Aunt Jenny. But anyway, so Pascal is, he's basically the nerdiest one of the bunch. He, like, believes that everything has a rational explanation and he has, like, taken it among himself to set out and find out what that rational explanation is. I don't know if it's just him or if the version of him I created for that fateful night, but this guy just weirds me out. And the funny thing is, is that the semester after I wrote that fateful night, I took physics in college. And we did a whole unit on fluids and pressure. And of course, you measure pressure in Pascals. So every freaking time, I am not kidding you with this, every time I did a problem, this guy just showed up in my head. And I'm like, no, no, I, I don't want to be thinking of this weirdo, stop it! You know, Pascal isn't the only one that decided to do the kind of alien experiment. His younger brother, Vinkund, I think that's how you say it. I don't know, fun fact, when I first played this game, I thought his name was Vin Claude. I don't know why, I apparently I can't pronounce names. But Vinkund, he decided that he wanted to experience alien pregnancy. So he also set himself up to get abducted. And the result was Kelly's cousin, Jan. So the four of them actually lived together. And the third brother, youngest, Laszlo, he moved out. Because he married a woman named Crystal Vu. And those of you who played The Sims 2 will realize that that was the woman he had a crush on. But yes, he did actually end up getting married to her and moved out. And he was the fun uncle, so it was kind of hard on Kelly and Jan. Because, you know, they would he would teach them to try and bend forks with their mind. And they'd never get anywhere, but they just had a lot of fun hanging out. These guys are crazy. But um, then, then we're moving on to Kelly. Kelly is, you know, she she's the product of an alien abduction. You can tell she has the green skin. She's kind of like... And I said this in um, the video I did where I created her. But when I actually created her this time around, because my computer broke and I lost all the files, so I had to recreate her, I actually changed her up a little bit. She's kind of, kind of, sort of, she kind of has that, like, punk, tomboy punk style. But she's also a little girly, too. She wears makeup and stuff like that. But Kelly, you know, is very confident in her own skin. She, it, to her, it doesn't matter that, you know, she's half alien. She's just, she is who she is, you know? And she kind of just takes it one step at a time while she kind of has to growing up the way she did with a house full of men. But, you know, she she's pretty much almost normal. And that's because she hung around a lot with her cousins, Jill and Johnny, who are also alien-human hybrids. I swear, most of the curious children are alien-human hybrids. The only ones that aren't are Laszlo's kids. And I don't even remember what kids he has. I know they adopted Autumn, but I don't even know what else they had. I don't I don't remember any of that. But anyway, Kelly, she hangs around with Joanna and Randy. And then there's her cousin Jan, which I don't remember that much about her. I remember she likes light blue. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I had to say about the Curious Brothers guys. I you know, there there's there's a whole bunch of stuff that I will probably get into when I do the Smith household and stuff like that, that that's coming your way soon. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more builds or more of that Faithful Night related stuff. Don't forget to check out that Faithful Night. Link is in the description below. And I'll be seeing you next time. Bye!